Today, we're going to hear about reproducing dreamers. Joy in the City is a program that highlights people and organizations having an impact in our city. All too often, we hear about the problems and dysfunction in our culture, but we are coming with a different approach as we take a look at the good things that are going on right here in our community. I'm Bethany Marshall, and you're about to see what God is doing in our city. Recently, at our annual Join the City Life Benefit Dinner, Pastor Jim Balzano challenges attenders to support each other in their dreams as well as reproducing dreamers. This is an excerpt from his talk at that live event. You know, I love Pastor Troy's dream. Uh, I love to see dreamers. I love to see dreamers dream. And um, he asked me to speak just a couple of minutes about this reproducing dreamers. First of all, I think we need to understand something. Number one, the reason that we reproduce dreamers is because God has been reproducing his dream in us. It is never about us dreaming for him. You go back to the garden, God had a dream for creation. He had a dream for this world and he wanted that dream to be expressed and lived out through his creation. And that's why he gave him his image. That's why he gave him his likeness. And now you and I as believers today, we live with the spirit of God inside of us so that we can continue to live and to express the dream that God has for the world. And so first of all, let us understand where the dream comes from. Second of all, though, if we're gonna reproduce dreamers, you know, how many know we gotta raise them? We gotta raise them. We have to raise them in a culture of dreaming. We, the culture that you create is the people that you create. Uh, the culture that you create in your kids is the, create, the culture that your kids are gonna be. If you raise them in a fearful home, they're probably gonna be fearful children. The culture that you create is the children that you create. The culture in which they live is what they will assimilate. A dreaming culture is a culture of possibilities and impossibilities. Spencer, you'd fit right in around here. Projects with no money, that's us, baby, all right? We start them, we don't know where it's coming from, but God's in it, let's go, all right? So we fit right in. A dreaming culture, it's a culture of risk. It's a culture of obedience, it's a culture of daring to step out, it's a culture of faith. And so we raise them, and in the church realm, and what we do as a church is we want to raise up dreamers. I love what Pastor Troy is doing. I love what Pastor Mike is doing. I love what Pastor John is doing. All of these guys and some of our ladies in our church are dreaming dreams and chasing after them. And man, I'll tell you what, it is so fun to watch. And then you have to release them. You see, we must release them to dream a dream that God has given them. Because we, we, it, it, it's his dream, not ours. We must release them to dream a dream given to them from God that will complement our dream but it may not be ours in and of itself. But then we have to release them to the dream. You see, sometimes the dream is bigger than their position. Sometimes the dream is bigger than the house. Pastor Troy and I sat in Atlanta almost a year to the day in a Japanese restaurant, and I said to him one night, I said, listen, I want you to know something. I know what some of your dreams are. I know what some of your hopes are for joining the city. And I want you to know this. If the dream is your heart is bigger than our house and you need to find a bigger house to, to accomplish the dream of your heart, I'm with you, I got your back, go chase it. You, you see, sometimes we have to understand that we have to be able to release people to their dream, not just release them to dream. How many of you know sometimes you gotta release your children to the dream, which means they may move away from you? Actually, mine moved in with me and we moved in with them, I'm not sure how that worked, but anyhow. <laughs> But you, but you know you gotta release them, okay? And, and there are times where that dream cannot be accomplished unless they are released and said, go do it. And then obviously, we've gotta resource them. We've gotta resource them. You see, dreams come from God. I say this often because of some of the work we're doing in the city with Nehemiah in the right place. Dreams come from God, and I truly believe that dreams can change directions. They can change the directions of families, children. They can change the direction of a city. We have a dream that we believe is a game-changing dream for children and their families. And I believe that when God gives a dream to a person, it changes the direction. It changes destinies, all right? And what I have found is, this is where it comes, dollars fund dreams. That's just the way it is. It, it costs money to do what God calls you to do and puts in your heart, all right? Which brings us tonight. Uh, this is a gathering where we, all right, are going to ask you to give. And I'm asking you to give not to this church, but I'm asking you to give to a man's dream that came from God. I believe that with all my heart. 
Um, I'm asking his friends to re help resource this dream. I'm asking his family, which means his church family and his father and <laughs> others. I'm just kind of having some fun with Harold. But to help him resource this. I'm asking many of you in this room who have been the beneficiaries of this man's expertise and his gracious giving heart. How many of you have been blessed by something Troy has done for you? All right, all over this room. Many of you have been blessed by his abilities that he's so freely given. You see, what we're doing tonight is we're not simply just investing in the dream. You see, we're gonna invest in a person. You know, there's, whenever there's a startup business, a startup enterprise, many times it's not the idea that people are buying into. As a matter of fact, there's a phrase, and that phrase is, we're going to bet on the jockey, not the horse. And I will tell you tonight, I'm betting on the jockey. I'm investing in the jockey, not the idea. I believe the idea is going to come to pass because of the jockey. Uh, so this dream is much bigger than what you have seen already of Join the City. Yes, it's going to be future documentaries. It'll be about education. And yes, someday I believe it will be the movie that he wants to do. So tonight, we're not just investing in something that's called join a city. We're just investing in a dream that God has put in a man. And tonight, I'm asking you to help us do that, to help him, if you'll help him. You know, I would say very boldly tonight, we talk about unity in our city. I love unity in our city. I love what's going on with the churches. I love prayer. But I will say this very boldly. We can pray together in unity, but when the checkbook starts writing, how many know we've crossed the great divide of unity? Pastors, when we write the checks to another organization, we write the checks to another church, we have truly said we're in unity. Boy, that's just got the room quiet. Because <laughs> how many know our money speaks louder than our words? Amen? And I love the fact, but I'm telling you tonight, this is not about Transformation Church. This is what, what God is doing in this city, and I'm asking you to invest in it. And, and so if you would do me a favor, if you would grab, there's an envelope in each one of your place settings. There's an envelope. There's a small response card. I'll ask you to take that. I'll ask you to take a look at it. In a moment, there's going to be a video that plays, and while that's playing, I'm going to ask you to um, fill this out. My wife and I are giving to this. We would never ask you to give so something we haven't or won't give to. And on there's a place for your name, your church, some other information, and then you'll see there's several boxes that you can check. The first one is, maybe tonight you're here and you say, I'm going to give a one-time donation in the amount of $1 million to join the city. <laughs> if you need to know how to spell million, somebody here can help you. All right? About, but it says I'm a one-time donation. Maybe here tonight you can write a check. Uh, or maybe you say, you know what, I want to commit to giving to the monthly, ex to we can monthly to expand the reach and effectiveness of the stories and the testimonies of joy in the city. Every pastor knows, every person with a nonprofit knows that residual income is wonderful. Monthly commitments is wonderful. And if you could do that for Troy, if you could do that for Join the City, I promise you how much it will be appreciated. And then also there's a box where you can give to be used as a scholarship for Join the City School. Because, again, we want to empower young people. We want to empower people to be able to dream and so forth. And there's some other boxes on there as well. If you would take that, if you would take a moment to pray about that, um, and then what's going to happen is we're going to show a short video and then we'll come back. And what you want to do with those, you fill them out. If you have a check, you can put it there. You can fill out if you want to uh, commit to something, put it out. And then put it in the envelope. There's one big envelope in the center of the table. If somebody would grab that and then you can put your responses in there, we would greatly appreciate that. Father, we love you. Thank you for who you are, that you are the dreamer, that you put dreams in our hearts. You are reproducing your dream in us. And so, Father, tonight we want to sow into a dream that you've given to Troy. We want to sow into Troy. We're betting on the jockey tonight. And so, Father, I ask for you to cause a spirit of generosity to rise up in this house, a spirit of faith to rise up in this house, and a spirit of graciousness that would say, and unity that says, I'm with you. And so, Father, I thank you for these people that are here tonight. Bless them. Bless their giving in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, make the checks payable to join the city, right, Troy? Where are you at? The church, make them out to Transformation Church. I promise you, they will get every nickel of it. Join the city. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for being here tonight. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for watching Join the City True Stories. 
Let me encourage you to watch other episodes of people and organizations having an impact on our community through our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Be encouraged because God is moving in our city. God